Hello and welcome. Even as we are mourning the death of Eddie Fitzroy, one of the first modern-day local musicians to celebrate women with his famous Princess Black, the dark side of dancehall continues to dominate national discourse. To hear the apologists at the University of the West Indies continue to defend this evil genre of music is not even bad comic relief. It's more like a diarrhea-causing agent. For many, dancehall is a violent art form, and a significant number of persons involved in this art form are violent and dangerous. The most significant memories of Sting, the Boxing Night Reggae Festival, are the clashes which have been violent, more so in recent time, leaving injuries galore. I am talking about the poisonous venom spewed from the mouths of these celebrated artists, several of whom have been guest lecturers at the University of the West Indies. I wonder when rapists and pedophiles going to become guest lecturers there. For that reggae studies unit is turning UWI into the University of Papi Shore. Somebody needs to start reeling off the earth-shattering research coming out of the unit, especially when Japan in particular, who have studied us and every other country for that matter that has studied reggae dancehall, has advanced it far more than anything we have done. All we can do is defend rubbish. Why doesn't violence accompany dancehall in Japan? We hear anybody killing themselves in Africa over dancehall or reggae? Only in Jamaica does dancehall put people's lives in danger. Imagine Lisa Hanna, the former minister, has to report threats on her life simply for expressing an opinion about the most honorable vibes cartel. That's the violence of dancehall that is to be abhorred. Perception is reality, and the perception that dancehall is fierce, ugly, and violent is very real. And now we come to what goes on in the prison. The famous Wolf Report of the 1990s is a stark reminder of the criminality and the law-breaking behind bars. And the Honorable Vibes Cartel, aided by prison officials, is recording behind bars without permission. Why? Because everybody afraid of him. The Aina woman who is the commissioner of corrections does not appear to know her left elbow from her right knee. And it's times like these when you miss a strong man. I so you know who was the real world boss. Because this foolishness would stop long time. So instead of another Jamaica House dance hall summit, Junior Minister Pernell Charles instead had a quiet summit in the prison. Yo, listen me. Sort out this crap now. This is how you know a country is going nowhere when prisoners are running the show. I'm tired of owner.